Hello everyone, welcome back to Renowned Explorers, and as always, good morning! My name is Rooster, and this is um, the Malai Mystery Expedition. Malai? Mali? Mali? I don't know. Um, anyway, um, so I discovered... Uh, ha, 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 um, I discovered that uh, on my last game, um, I was having... The game turned on to discovery mode, and that doesn't count for the purposes of um, of doing the challenge. So that's a bit of a pity. Um, but I did manage to uh, to make a new expedition on adventure mode, and uh, we have the same team members. We have um, well, same expeditions. We do have an extra engineer perk for uh, for Amelia, so that's good. Um, we did just beat the Elephant Graveyard again, so uh, that is kind of similar. Not, not entirely, we did a different campfire story, as well as uh, we got a few different treasures. Uh, we actually got a sword from, uh, from the first expedition, so we managed to get the Songhai sword from the sword guy, um, if you remember from last episode. Uh, but most things have been rather similar. So I don't feel too terrible about um, about not showing you what happened before. Um, entourage, we did actually get a decent entourage member here, uh, which gives us an archaeologist perk for Emilia, which is um, rather nice and should give us a decent amount of study, so we can actually finish, uh, well, hopefully finish uh, some research trees um, after this expedition. Uh, so we could go for research here, or we could just... Um, let's just grab some gold over here. A weird yellow mask. It will weaken you. I don't really care about being weakened. Uh, who is never going to attack? Padrino, probably. Alright. Padrino cries golden tears. Poor, poor little thing. This should give us an extra perk, I think. Oh, that might be a, might be a rogue perk, actually. Perhaps sneaking? Harry might get stealing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Tribesmen yell at you for walking so carelessly through the dangerous jungle. Alright. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, so we get a free rope perk. I'm definitely giving that to Harry over here. Uh, and we are now officially out of supplies. Um, I did not use the, um, the, the campfire story that would have given us supplies. So um, yeah, we are kind of low on that. Uh, we would like to check what's over here, I think. Um, we can do that. We can do that from here. Uh, so we can just mm, throw a cursory glance or we can just grab a few more penalties. I don't feel too terrible about doing that. Sure. Just a couple. It's not going to be... Uh, that speech, that speech on Harry is actually a little ugly. Oh, and of course, there is no way to go from here to there, so that's actually a terrible move. But, sure, we'll, we'll grab a few penalties and we'll see what happens. You'll lose a speech power, that's not good. That is definitely not good, but uh, let's just grab some... Ooh, that's good, though. Okay, um, sure, Emilia's rather good at that stuff, so... Definitely grabbing some free study tokens here. Loses grit, that's fine. Alright, and I think it's... Uh, are you kidding me? But see, this is why I should check stuff like this. Okay, so so we're wasting another debuff here. That, that was such a waste, it's incredible. We could have at least grabbed the, grabbed the research node with uh, while, <laughs> while spending so much resources here. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, but, you know, you lose a speech power, loses armor. Uh, well, we'll be fine. Harry got uh, got trampled by elephants early, so uh, he's al also lost lost some armor. But I don't expect to need armor at all, basically. Uh, so that's good. Um, which doctor village? Yes. Uh, let's hope uh, we don't have a tool left. I think. Oh, I do have one tool. Okay, so I can I can hover over here to see whether I have one. So this is a rather important check over here. Uh, because it appears if you fail this one, then you just won't get the chance to uh, to do anything properly uh, with the Witch Doctor. So uh, even, if, even though you might bring a prankster, uh, you do have to actually make this skill check. So that's rather important. I'm pretty glad I uh, I preserved one of our tools here. Okay, um, great. Maybe he'll give us treasure. 
Audit Committee, we did uh, combat the Audit Committee and we did that with a friendly attitude, so that's pretty good. Um, Harry is a prankster, so he uh, he's preparing for his jokes here. Gets a plus five speech and cracks a joke about hyenas. This is one of the one of the required steps. So if you uh, if you did not help out the lady um, with her furniture, uh, she does not teach you the the massage technique. Uh, so you need either someone with a sense of humor, either with. Uh, either with being a prankster or with the actual Beguiler perk sense of humor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so if you don't have those, then you can't grab the best treasure from uh, from this encounter. So that's rather uh, rather important. Uh, Harry's joke about hyenas hits the right spot. Um, so step one, audit committee. Step two, help the lady with her furniture. Um, and then go to over here and do make that first skill check. And then you can grab the golden chihuahua. Uh, that would be uh, that would be really good. Uh, we can crack another joke, but he will never let us leave. So that is quite enough. We will risk the witch doctor, although you can decline his request. I can. Does that mean you can even skip? Hmm. I don't know. Um, does that mean you can just skip the the encounter entirely? That would be curious. That would make this the only expedition that you can skip the uh, the final battle from. I think so. Yeah. I will have to check that sometime. All right. Um. So we plan on beating this friendly, and then, then we get an extra treasure hunt token. So that's pretty sweet. Which doctor's preparing to face us? And he's uh, he's got increased speech power from uh, from the mask and speech defense, I think. So we, we want to make him excited or impressed to uh, to remove that. Um, let's see. We can take out the guys in the corner here, or we can uh, stay out of range from them. Doesn't look like that's going to be possible unless I dive into the corner over here. Would that work? I guess it might. I guess it might. Although. These villagers might also just impress us, and then that does basically nothing. Uh, let's just move back first and take care of these villagers here, and perhaps leave Amelia over here. That, that sounds like a great idea. Um, can we actually, with our reduced speech power, still take down all of these guys? We might. This is not a guarantee, but I'll, I'll try. Um, and this is a guarantee, and this is also a guarantee. I'm, I'm trusting Amelia here, she can take a few hits. So not incredibly worried about this hair. Oh, they make, uh, they make people confident. And I absolutely missed that guy in the corner, but that's okay. Uh, blue guys are kind of dangerous, but I think we can deal with them properly. Let's see, Padrino can do that, or Harry can do that. Um, let's leave it to Harry after I boost him up with Virginio. How is that? So we do this, and Amelia takes care of this guy over here. Ooh, um, hello. He can move pretty close. Let's just try and stay out of uh, out of range of the AOE guy, and then we should be fine, I believe. Uh, do more villagers show up eventually? I don't know. Hmm. That's actually interesting. I, I don't know whether reinforcements will arrive at some point. He did make us excited, so that's uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, so now we want to move to the back, possibly... Uh, actually, we want to impress this guy, I think. Because that will weaken him considerably. So if Amelia here can take out... Ooh, she can take the red guy by herself, so we may be unable to, to do all of them. In that case, we might as well just, just take out the... Blue guy. So we make this uh, this one impressed. Yeah, we can impress the the witch doctor here. So that will weaken him considerably, I think. Uh, let's see. Just to check, he loses he loses speech power. It's not uh, it's not indicated over here, but um, yeah, he did lose uh, he did lose speech defense, and I think also speech power. I didn't really check, but um, that is that is fine. Uh, that means we can heal up Amelia over here. Wait, that did approximately nothing. Okay. Um, is is Perino's speech power that terrible right now? 
kind of now. Um, I'm a little worried about that, but uh, Amelia is not in dire straits. So as long as this guy does not impress and then... Oh, there are more villagers coming in. Please don't kill Perino here. Uh, just barely not, okay. Uh, we can uh, we can use Petrunio's party time to uh, to not have to worry too much about that. Um, be careful about not making the guy too excited. Um, let's see. We can uh, we can move over here. Let's uh, let's move actually move here, and then we can probably take it take that guy out with Amelia. That did not, oh uh, that of course that did not heal because party time does not heal. Um, in that case, in that case, what are we doing? What am I doing with my life here? Um, I kind of, I kind of need to heal at this point, so um, we may have to deal with an excited witch doctor for now. I think taking care of this guy is going to be more important than uh, than not taking too much damage from the witch doctor. Uh, this will turn everyone excited again, and that's a lot of healing. Oh my! Emilia here is quite the beast. Nice, nice, I appreciate that a lot. Because uh, that should really nullify most of the damage we're taking here. Um, can we take out the Witch Doctor before these guys are in range and he can dance away? I don't know. Uh, but we'll have to see. Can Emilia reach him? I don't think she can. That's actually kind of ugly. It's not very nice. Um, I think we want to start with uh, with some excited attacks, or perhaps a devious attack with Amelia. How's that? Let's just try that first. Might as well. And then excited, and then finish off with impressed. I don't think we could have killed him this turn, so this is probably fine. And we don't want to leave him excited at the end of his, uh, our turn. So this is uh, this is reasonably well for for, a friend, for most friendly crews. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard of a combat. All right, and those guys are nowhere near, so we can easily just take them out right now. There we go. It does appear that uh, that going for money focus um, gives you a lot easier time in combat, though. Um, so your score might overall be a little less impressive, but if you're if you're having trouble with the uh, with the encounters, then uh, then going for a money focus, just just having some good gear right now is really really mattering a lot. So let's see the Chihuahua. Uh, we can get some nice, mm, yeah, a nice bonus for Harry here. I don't mind. That is, uh, that is actually pretty sick, because he already has one of those bonuses, right? From the campfire uh, mechanic. I think I'll take it. Let's just hope for, uh, for a couple of rogue challenges in that case. Um, so, next expedition will either be Egypt. I think it will be Egypt. And then either Highland or, or Emerged Island. I'm, I'm tempted to go Highlands, just because it's really friendly-friendly. Uh, Perhaps I, I should go Highlands first and then go Egypt afterwards. That will allow us to do some more research before uh, before going to Egypt. Will allow us to explore the desert a little more. I think I like that idea actually. I think I like it indeed. Um, so we're unlocking the equipment shops through research anyway. So we're going for the entourage hall, even though we don't have that much status right now. Uh, that is going to be the most relevant choice here, and we're unlocking engineering with these bonuses. These are the most important, and then treasure hunts from treasures. 45 research. We could spend one insight, uh, but I think we'll leave that until after the next expedition. So that's research for now. Um, then we would like to check, um, to check these specialists first of all. Bonus collect for the cultural, bonus archaeology again. Um, do we have symbolism yet? We don't have symbolism yet, so that could be pretty good. Um, main reason I'm so worried about archaeology is I would like to get Emilia up to level 6 archaeology. Um, to get some nice encounter bonuses from, uh, from cultural awareness over here, which we're, which we're going to attempt after finishing the engineering tree here. Uh, mostly just for, for the cultural awareness here. 
Um, and then we might even consider going for Lecture Expert, but I don't know whether that's actually worth it. Uh, perhaps we just want... Uh, perhaps we do ju just don't really care too much about research, but um, this one should be pretty good, I, th I think. Um, actually, wait, uh, we did get a treasure, so maybe... Um, I'm thinking about this treasure over here, uh, bonus collect from Zanzibar. Um, it was a unique bonus, I didn't know what, uh, what Zanzibar was at the time when I picked it. But Zanzibar is going to be uh, the African job that gives us collect and campaign. Um, so that means that archaeology won't be that relevant, actually. Um, and we can't really grab another bonus from archaeologists, archaeology. So I'm not really sure what to do about this, actually. So that's a little awkward. Uh, so we can't grab a bonus from there. We could grab a bonus from this one, I guess. And then a survivalist slash athlete. Well, we're never going to get a decent athlete at this uh, at this rate, so not not terribly excited about that. This is never going to be that relevant. Uh, this this should be good. And oh, uh, so that means we definitely want to give Emilia another engineer perk as soon as possible. Um, and we should do that through either items. Can we do that through items right now? I kind of want to check. Uh, we also want to buy some defensive items here. Um, actually, let's uh, let's check the entourage halls first, um, just so we can uh, perhaps just get another engineer perk first. Um, doesn't seem like that's going to be an option. We can grab a hunting perk for um, for Padrino here, and that looks like a nice bonus. Although that is a pretty hefty status cost. Um, our other other specialists here, this is not a very good one. Um, that's bonus... oh, that's all bonus campaign. Hey, that's curious. Um, so level 3 specialists might be better, I might as well check, right? Because getting, getting a really good one is going to be very valuable. Um, okay, so we're, we're grabbing Pinkerton, I think, and then because Pinkerton is going to be pretty good for us. And then I think we're just grabbing the survivalist, assuming we can grab another engineer perk from somewhere. Because I don't think uh, the dervish is going to be too amazingly relevant right now. Uh, so let's check the shop. I think there is another engineer perk at some point in this shop's upgrade tree, but I could be wrong about that. So the ones missing here are... Uh, yes, yes there is. Yes there is. There is uh, the chemistry set over here. So that gives combustion. Uh, do we already have combustion? Please please tell me no. Okay, and that gives us chemistry. Do we have... we don't have chemistry, so that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. And that's going to be worth it, I think. Just to bring her up to a level 3 engineer, we have a level 3 rogue already. Let's um, double check that. Yes we do. Okay, so that's uh, that's the most important thing right now, because that's going to give us a lot of bonus collect tokens, I think. Um, besides that, I think... Um, yeah, so we don't have to invest anymore, so that means we can grab Pinkerton from here. And these weren't too relevant. No, they weren't. So that means we can go grab uh, Survivalist Hunting, which should also be pretty good. And we're going to give Padrino hunting. Okay. Um, and then let's see if we can buy some defensive items here. Probably want to give at least Emilia and Padrino one of those. Um, so let's see. We could go for a set of master, master boots, master armor. How's that? That's 10 armor, 10 speech defense, and a lot of grit. Um, maybe I just want to give him some armor, although we're not going to face a lot of aggressive enemies, I think. So we might just be okay with buying... Yeah, I'll buy a Master Boots for Padrino, and then a Master Armor for Emilia, because I am still a big fan of improving your bad 
your bad defenses uh, instead of improving what you're already good at. I'm, I'm preparing for, for bad scenarios and not for uh, not for scenarios where we are already stacked up with the best items we have. Okay, um, that's fine. And that was definitely worth every single gold piece we spent there, I think. Um, so we're going for either Egypt or Highlands, and I think we're just grabbing the other one after that. Um, but this might not be... hey! I never noticed that the airship changes um, with regards to what your attitude is, I guess? Or perhaps your focus. Our focus is money, though. I don't know. I don't know what determines this. Perhaps just the class of uh, of your explorer. Oh, that could be possible. Um, so Highland Pursuit seems sweet. Uh, we have an engineer. We have a. That's, this is actually not that good. <laughs> we're we're not very very well prepared for the skill checks here. And Memphis Desert looks a lot better, although we don't really have the supplies to properly deal with that. That's kind of a problem, um, but doing the fort right now is also not really too relevant. The island is not that good. Andes, we could go Andes actually. We don't. We we we're lacking. Yeah, but it doesn't give any gold, and we really want as much gold as we can get. As well, uh, I don't know how how well the Andes responds if you're trying to be friendly to people, especially the necromancer. It does not work too well. So I'm a little worried there. Um, so Highlands looks a little awkward in the skills department. Although we will soon have a level 2 Beguiler at the very least. We have a level 3 Engineer. It could be fine. But I'm tempted to just go Egypt and, and eat a couple of penalties. Let's, uh, let's go Egypt. I'm feeling brave today. I am feeling brave today, guys. Let's, uh, let's see if... Um, if we're going to get crushed here. We just need to be careful with supplies and then we're going to be fine. So Temple of War right over here and then let's see where the oases are. So that's going to be quite relevant actually. Alright, a pamphlet with... Uh, that's kind of okay I guess. I guess I'm kind of okay with this uh, with this distribution. This is always going to cost two supplies to get over here. I think that's going to be a diplomat challenge, so I shouldn't expect too, ma too much success here. A nature challenge would be naturalist survivalist. Probably going to be good for us. I kind of want to check this out. Also that allows us to peek at what's, uh, at what's over here. Um, Amelia is pretty good at that sort of stuff, so I'm definitely allowing her a chance. I was going to say you're gonna be kidding me, but that's uh, that's good enough. All right. Um, and I don't think this is going to be worth it if we're going to visit the um, the oasis soon. So a British camp, yeah. I was expecting, I was expecting a diplomacy challenge here. Um, we could try. It's never going to be amazing, is it? Uh, we could just skip it for one supply, but I'm definitely taking a 1 in 3 for a lot of goodies. And a lot of goodies being... I'm, I'm not skipping... I'm not skipping 3 extra tokens. That's, that's 3 extra tokens, is it? This is a bonus of 3, this is a bonus... Ah, oh, this is a bonus of 2. So 2 extra tokens for a 3% chance. I'm, I'm not... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The 3% doesn't matter. Well, we'll never know anyway, so... Yeah, that was going to fail. I'm, I'm okay with this. Um, and let's see if we can do an encounter here. I think that's going to be good for us. Um, talking to the locals will give you campaign. Uh, focus on canteens and resting will give you one supply guaranteed. But we can also approach the British. We can just steal their supplies, I guess. But I would like to convince them to give us supplies. Um... We don't have a diplomat. Perhaps with a high-level diplomat you can just convince them to give you some supplies. Perhaps a beguiler? I don't know. I don't think a beguiler makes any difference there. Uh, but I don't mind fighting for them. Because uh, doing this one successfully should give us... Oh, well, at the very least two encounter tokens, so that's good. 
I don't like the start of this encounter though. Um, how is Harry's shot here? We have uh, we have someone with a pretty high speech defense. Okay, that's actually kind of ugly. And they're resistant to impressed also. Oh, that's not good. Uh, they're resistant to excited. I'm sorry. Um, but since excited is our main angle of attack, that's going to be a little ugly. I feel. Can we uh, can we dodge out of the way here? We can we can walk upwards. Um, and then still have Harry. We can't really have Harry attack and still and still do stuff though. Perhaps we, we should just focus down these guys. Can we do that? Uh, I think that's okay. So let's try and impress over here and see if we can um, see if we can take them out with one excite. Okay, okay, that's good enough. Then this guy can still reach us. This is going to be pretty bad. I'm, I'm kind of afraid here. Uh, we do have some good healing abilities, so I shouldn't need to be too scared. We we bought some defense. We don't have any nasty penalties yet, but we are taking a lot of attacks here. Well, they're, they're making us excited for... So we don't have, uh, have to do that ourselves anymore, that's actually pretty good. We could use an aggressive attack here and then recoup from that by killing everyone with friendly attacks. I don't hate that idea. Because this looks pretty, pretty enticing and it's going to be a lot more effective. Sure, we, we, can, we can recoup our reputation later. Um, we could even party time, how's that? I would really like a party time here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's going to take all three of them out and immediately change the mood back to friendly, I think. So that's actually pretty great. Uh, that does mean I can't heal up Amelia, though, but I'm not, I'm not that afraid of this guy here. Um, can we actually... well, we could Tranquility. Let's just Tranquility to be sure. Um, or we can change the mood back well, the mood is brutal, so that's not too bad. We have three points. We have two points in this. I think I'm, I am pretty sure if we uh, if we just turn the mood back into friendly. I don't want to use amnesia shot here. What am I? What am I talking about? I think um, I think I would just like to heal up just to make sure I don't lose the resolve here. That would be really bad. I think this guy can deal some actual damage, so I should be careful about that. He's immune to excite. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Alright, well, um, we can take him out with a devious attack, I guess. Um, we have seven friendly points, two aggressive points, that's still fine. Um, so let's try a devious attack to take him out. That should still leave us friendly, and it's going to be fine. Okay. Well, that, that was a lot more interesting than I would have thought. Okay, we get two supplies, so that's good. So we're almost full again. Um, if we're going to go here, we might as well go here, you would say. Um, but in the desert, that doesn't really apply. Although we do have a level 4 survivalist, so the risk of losing supplies when in traversing empty terrain is not as high as it could be. But I think we're just going to, uh, to not take any unnecessary risks. Ooh, a red scorpion. I don't know what's up with the red scorpion. Have I have I ever fought? I think I have because I've I've made the reference to red scorpions already. So, sure. Um, and we're absolutely surrounded. That's great. Isn't that just peachy? Can I take down these guys in one fell swoop? No, I cannot. Can I at least protect Harry a little bit? Can I uh, can I do a? How effective is? Wow, this is a really bad situation we find ourselves in, especially uh, Amelia here. Uh, let's uh, let's retreat and take this one by one. So I kind of want Perginio over here. Uh, scorpions are really fast, also, so these guys can just run around and still target Harry. Can I do? Can I do this? That is pretty amazing again, and also does not put us in a really hazardous mood. So I, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that approach, and that seems really effective. Oh, they have, they just have really high speech defense. That's uh, that's the trick here. 
So if I move Harry over here and then do something like this, that's pretty excellent. It doesn't, doesn't take any of them down, but um, we can slowly start turning the tide into friendly again. I think I like that. Or we could do a devious attack, which is going to also be quite relevant, especially the red one. Well, why don't I just... No, no, I think taking out the blue one is going to be... What is this guy? Devious ab oh devious abilities plus oh that's that's just because of the mood okay that's that's fine um so I could disarm this guy is that going to be better than I don't know could also take one of them out with this here I don't think that's too relevant let's just start by doing this and then we could I guess do this here. Oh, maybe I should have taken down a guy in the middle, so I could do party time right, right there. That could have been pretty good. Because now I also have to make this guy excited. I don't know about that. But taking, t taking down two guys will be good, although that does change the mood into something we don't want it to be. So how about I just, uh, I just do this? Just take down that guy. There's only three of them left. I'm not too worried. We, we won't spend too long being poisoned or anything. Emilia is poisoned. Oh, and that guy can reach Harry. Well, I, I should have been a little more careful with that, but sure. Uh, can we take down the red guy? We could, but it's not incredible, incredibly effective here. We can change his mood back into something proper, so I think I'm in favor of that. Um, and Harry, Harry can take down this one, preferably from a safer spot than where we are now, but that's not going to be... I could take down the red guy. Mm, don't like that. Actually, um, we can use another attack. No, we kind of want to change the mood into friendly now. So let's just see whether he can reach us here. Actually, I'm not too worried about him being excited here. Um, he can always reach Harry, can't he? How about Harry just takes on this guy? I think he's safe over here. Yes, yes, he's safe over here. Uh, and as, as long as I attack this guy with, uh, with Amelia or Padrino, then he shouldn't... Then I don't think he should attack Harry. Now you can be you can be pretty sure that if you don't attack someone in the, and if you don't heal any teammates, then you can probably then you can be reasonably certain that a party member is not going to be attacked. But um, I don't want to run any risks, and especially if I'm changing the mood into into something that's bad for us, uh, into dire. Then I gotta be careful about uh, about my endeavors there. Alright, um, another encounter over here, that's okay with me. A group of British goons without a leader. Alright, we cannot find our boss, but we are sure he wants you gone. Okay. And they are going to be friendly because their boss has no idea... Well, they have no idea what their boss would want them to do. I wonder whether that is random. Uh, but I don't mind them being friendly at all. So, as usual, you get a bonus for being in the same mood as your opponents. Um, Amelia's not too relevant over here. Actually, I, I keep forgetting what these goons do. Um, I could just do this here, though. Because that will keep us reasonably safe. Um, do this here, and Harry doesn't have a whole lot to do. Uh, but let them let them come to you. There's there's no excuse, no no real reason. We could we could do it this way and then take one of them out, be aggressive for one turn. That's probably okay. Because being in a brutal mood is actually pretty good for us. Um, can't take them down immediately, but I expected as much. So we're just going to use two attacks on one of them, or perhaps Virginia takes them out. Does not, but uh, we have a defense advantage. I don't think they will change moods uh, as long as we are 
reasonably... Well, um, they won't change moods this turn. They might in the next, actually. Uh, but mood is now friendly, so this should be a friendly encounter still. I mean, that's good. Alright. So what does this result in? Goons without a leader is like fish without fins. Alright, just some collect, but that's okay. Uh, nature challenge, I'm, I'm in favor of nature challenges, although I should have given Padrino here. Doesn't matter. 100%, I'm entirely okay with that. And we can grab, uh, at the cost of supplies, some gems. Alright, alright, it's fine. I, I don't like spending the supplies, but um, it's just what we uh, just what we have to do, I guess. Uh, grab another beguiler level because being a little flexible is actually kind of important, and we are rapidly running out of supplies. That's uh, actually quite awful. Oh, uh, travel costs two supplies, so we might as well just check out this cultural challenge here, which is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this approach with, uh, with Amelia here. That is going to require such a detour. I kind of have to, but that is an awful detour. Why did we not know that? We should have checked this out. We should have checked this out just because of the free move. Ah, oh, that's, that's bad. That is really bad for us. Um, we don't want to check out the free move here, though. We don't want to do this. No, no, pretty sure we don't. Let's just do this encounter just to uh, get ahead a little bit. Uh, we can offer him some supplies. We cannot spare anything at the moment. Ah, uh, yes, we definitely cannot spare any supplies because that would immediately reduce us to hunger levels. So I don't want to take any. I don't want to take any hunger penalties right now. Definitely not. And bonus for friendly again, so that's pretty sweet. Um, this guy is one of the same ones again. I'm not sure what's. Um, I'm not sure what's up with these uh, all these immunities here. That's actually really awkward. Can I take these guys down in one turn with Harry here? Well, we can take down one of them, I guess. Um, can we get? We can do something like this. How's that? Um, and being friendly against Devious is good for us, I guess, so that's okay. Um, can probably just use a Devious attack. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, do this first. And then this. Oh, and then, uh, of course, Padrino just takes her out. That was going to be the plan after all. Good. Um, and then they immediately change to being nice. Okay, well, that's that's fine with me. I was hoping to dodge one of those. Well, I'll be I'll be fair here, but that's okay. Um, that is not very effective. Mm, that immunity is is really screwing me up here. But I guess we can just do the same thing and then heal with Amelia, and that's going to be fine. Fine and dandy. Um, could have moved Virginia over here because now I'm unable to heal him. That's that's really awkward. Can we afford to wait one turn? I guess we can. Why is this so awkward? Yeah, I, I definitely should have moved Perdinho there. Can we can we hit this guy? Now my party members are blocking the way. Um, does it matter? Not really. It doesn't lower his attack, does it? No, it does not. Um, and I don't want to be further away. I guess we can use Tranquility here, because we're not going to need that much healing at any time soon. Okay, that's good. So, Impressed is useful. Um, also useful to eliminate any other penalties. So, let's move here, let's move here. And let's see if we can get something done with, for example... Oh, Amnesia Shot is not awful. And that can also eliminate another Devious attack, so that's nice. Might as well try this then. So this eliminates a devious attack, not that it matters too much. Oh, lower speech defense also, so this might even just take him out. We can take him out with an aggressive attack, but we kind of don't want to. Let's just leave him excited for now. 
and he should be unable to inflict any meaningful damage. There we go. Alright. He puts in a good word. Okay. Well, isn't that nice of him? We can uh, we can move towards the next oasis. How's that? Um, I guess it doesn't matter if we make a two move right now. Um, we could also make a two move towards this one and then check this one. That's going to cost us a lot of hunger penalties though. Although, yeah, it might not matter too much. Can we, can we get here? We could take a risk and go here first and then just check out the red pyramid. I kind of want to get that one out of the way as quickly as possible. Although checking checking the obelisk first is also valuable. Let's uh, let's check this one first. I'm I'm feeling brave today. Um, nothing of interest. That's okay. Um, so we're starting to lose stats right away. Ooh, campfire time. Kind of forgot about that one. Um, so a free yes yes free survivalist perk. That's good. Want to keep this one and then discard the others. Yes. I'm not interested in any of the others, right? No, no. I could, uh, I could keep all of them because there only seems to be one card left in my deck. I don't want to have stuff reshuffled, though. I can think about that next, uh, next ex expedition. So we're keeping this one, playing this one. Target Padrino. And I think we have... Uh, we wanted to give him tracking, I think. Or we can grab a discovery, I guess, but tracking is going to be better. There we go. Okay, uh, so we could go here, I guess. That's going to cost... Well, it's two steps regardless, right? Uh, but that could provide us with the way back, actually. So let's just go here. Um, please don't lose... well... We don't care about losing any more supplies, actually. Where did the supplies come from? I thought we were out, and then we and then we got more. How, how, did, how did we? Oh, we got more from from the event. Of course, I completely forgot. Um. So yeah, that that makes that makes a lot of sense. Of course. Okay. Um. Well, that's that's fine. Then we don't take any unnecessary uh, risks right here. Let's explore the red pyramid. All right. Cassandra is going to be a tricky encounter, I think. Although we are we are quite well prepared, so I shouldn't need to worry too much. But um, especially Harry's defenses are kind of kind of dangerous still. That's, uh, that's just the nature of glass cannons, I guess, though. Um, what is up with these guys? They are resistant to enrage, that's fine. Wait, where on earth? Oh, we're fighting Cassandra in there. Okay, this is, this is absolutely fine, then. Should be able to take most of them out right away, are we? Yes, yes we are. Okay, so this should, this should work, I guess. Well, we can certainly take out all uh, the two in the back, so might as well... Do we have some more impressive attacks, by the way? We can use an aggressive attack. That's not going to work. We can try this, I guess. Because if that works and this works, so that always works. So, yeah, that basically just gave us the encounter right there. Good. Um, so I, I wasn't reading the event, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, sometimes when you think you know what you're doing, uh, we can push it aside or we can risk getting a minus one resolve. I don't know about that. Um, it's only a 55% chance, but, uh, but if Amelia manages this, that's actually pretty good for us. And odds... Yeah, I'll risk a resolve and a tool for this one, sure. I think this is a pretty good tool use if... Um, and if it fails, it doesn't matter too much. So so I guess the, I guess this is okay. There, there could have been better usages though, because I'm basically guaranteed to make this one. Not, not even basically, I'm just guaranteed to make this one. And a closing door, that's a 90%. 
So I would have had an 80% there if I failed the other one. Maybe I didn't need to take that risk, but I did get a lot of tokens for that. And anytime Amelia succeeds on anything, <laughs> we were getting a lot of tokens, so I like that. Alright. I'm going to close my window. It's uh, it's high, high tide for all kinds of traffic and it's making a lot of noise in the background, isn't it? Alright, that should be a little bit better. Um, so, Cassandra encounter, yes. Um, Cassandra can move over here. So as long as we stay in this line and they can reach us, they can also not reach us. So that should be fine. So that means if we place Harry over here, take down this guy, I think we may have made a mistake here. Yes, we did. Because Cassandra does have a ranged attack, actually. Uh, we could have just moved up there, I guess. That would have made a lot of sense. I'm not thinking straight again. Um, Padrino can take that guy out. Yes, that gal, I guess. Should probably buff up Harry here to be... Uh, well, Harry's, Harry's going to get hurt here, so... I definitely just should have moved up here with everyone, but uh, we should have enough movement to... That's, that hurts. That really hurt my feelings there, Cassandra. Why, why, did, why do you do this to me. Stop playing with my heart. Okay, so Cassandra has four movement, so I can't really... Uh, well, I can outrun her, actually, because if I move over here and take down this guy and this guy, then we should be okay. So let's do this. Um, let's take down this one with Padrino. He can take a little bit, sure. And then Amelia either takes down this one... yeah, that's going to be fine. Um, I can even block... No, no, this should be better. Uh, Cassandra does have area attacks, so if she takes down Harry here, that's kind of worrisome. Oh, but this is a lot better. Alright. Um, still a little worried about Harry here, so perhaps I should just use a heal here. How's that? I think I like that idea, yeah. So uh, she just used an area attack, so I shouldn't need to be worried too much about that. And I think I, uh, if I, for example, do this, that would be really nice. Um, don't want to make her excited right now, though. So resistant to enraged, though. You really don't want to make Cassandra excited. I think I'll just pass. Sure. Maybe I should, uh, yeah, I, I definitely should have let, I should have let Padrino take out the, the last mook and then let Harry attack Cassandra. Of course, but um, at least we can now make her excited a little bit. Um, we should just surround her, I guess. Keeps us, uh, keeps us safe. At least relatively. Alright, and I don't think she can take down anyone right now. Oh, different mooks incoming, though. Need to be careful with that. Um, Harry should be able to take one out, and then Padrino can take out the other one. Still fine. Or perhaps we can just take down Cassandra right now. How's that? I think we can. I'm pretty sure we can, actually. Um, not from here, though. Um, and let's keep in mind that she's impressed right now, but we can, for example, use this. That's not too effective, I'm afraid. But this, I think this should work even, uh, even if she's not excited anymore after that. We could uh, do impressed first. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Actually, uh, Harry does have the biggest speech modifier here, so she, so he should go first. Yes. Perhaps I'm wrong here, but uh, this, I think, should work, and if it doesn't, that's really sad. If she just drops down to 1 HP there, that, uh, <laughs> that would be pretty terrible. 
maybe I shouldn't have taken that risk and just taken down the mooks, but I feel reasonably safe like this. Okay, I melt Cassandra's heart here, and we get the Mask of Sneferu, okay. And one of each token is actually pretty good, as well as another treasure token. Um, highest level survivalist gains plus one discovery, or highest level archaeologist gains plus one secrets. Well, there's a real moral dilemma, I guess. Well, not really, not really. I think uh, I think the secret is going to be pretty good if we want to have a secondary focus on status, which I think we kind of do because our treasure hunts will also give status. So that's kind of logical, right? Um, but then again, discoveries might also give gold, which is a kind of a secondary benefit. Do we expect to make more survivalist roles than archaeologist roles? Now there's a question. I don't mind getting a bit more secrets, I guess. Yeah, I think we are we're getting more benefit out of out of entourage than out of research. I think. Sure, let's go for this one. And that was the Red Pyramid. And with that um, comes the end of this episode. So thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next time. Uh, let's see if we can make it to an oasis before our crew starts to starve. Um, that's going to be a slight concern. But we'll see how this goes. Um, so definitely excited for next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.